Medfield TV presents Meet the Candidates, interviews with our citizens running for local offices. This series is being brought to you by the joint efforts of Carol Mayer, Town Clerk, Kathleen Emerson, Medfield High School Social Studies Chair, as well as the staff of Medfield TV. I'm Matthias Epstein from Medfield High School, and I will be posing questions to the candidate. He will have two minutes to respond to each question. At the end of the questioning period, the candidate will have two additional minutes to address the TV audience. Today, we are interviewing Paul Hogan. He is a candidate running for the Office of Trust Fund Commissioner. This position is for a two-year term. There is one position open, and he is running unopposed. How are you doing today? I'm doing great today. Thank you for having me here at Medfield TV. Um, your first question is, what does the Trust Fund Commission do? Trust Fund Commission works hand in hand with the Treasurer, and it really is only one fund. It's called the Municipal Building Trust Fund. Uh, and that's an that's important distinction uh, that because there's many other trusts in the town of Medfield. The library has some, there's a trust that uh, for the Vine Lake Cemetery, but the Trust Fund Commission itself only handles and assists the treasurer with the Municipal Building Trust Fund. And what do you like about this position? Tracy Mitchell was a personal friend of mine, so I to follow in his footsteps after all the years that he served the town. I, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. I actually thought about running for this position last year, but the timing wasn't right. And I just, I just think it's a wonderful thing that, you know, I knew him for multiple decades that I can follow in his footsteps. And you just touched on it, but why are you running? It's time to give back something to the town. Uh, I'm at the age now where you, you start thinking about your legacy and everything. I've, I've had the privilege of living in Medfield for multiple decades and the timing is just right to get involved. Uh, this is a good, I don't want to use the word entry level position, but it's a position that needs to be filled. It does have some value and uh, every position has importance. And what past experience do you have that qualifies you for this job? I think a lot of these positions in town, it comes down to uh, common sense and your experience. Uh, it, in my work and everything, I, I handle accounts of uh, big clients for the, for the company that I work for. And I, I would just transfer that level of experience and that level of cooperation, bringing people together when decisions do have to be made on uh, funding and again to assist the treasurer wherever I could. Uh, how would you improve this position? There's really not a lot you can do. It, it's just, it's so focused in the one direction with the one fund that, um, like I said, people who are looking for help in the town, whether it's a town department or things like that, would come to the treasurer with a request for funding out of the fund and then the treasurer would get us all together and we would talk about it in a cooperative effort and then all of us decide yes or no for the funding request. Um, does the trust fund work on their own or do you collaborate with other town officials? We really don't collaborate. The, the trust itself, I said the, the treasurer really is, is the point person on it and then the other two commissioners would help her, uh, you know, decide what to do. So we, we really don't have a lot of interaction with like the library trust business or, or the cemetery that I mentioned or any of the other trusts that are involved in town. Um, how do you manage funds in town? Like I said, I'm sounding like a broken record <laughs> a little bit, but um, you know, everything revolves around the treasurer and you know, it's her res fiscal responsibility, and she's been in the job multiple decades to really, uh, you know, guide through any of the financial issues, the investments of the fund itself. Again, we're really there, there as a sounding board when someone needs help. And how do you distribute gifts for the town? I wouldn't say that it's really a gift. The, the, the money has been in this fund for a long time, and the treasurer is investing it obviously it's making some money so again it it's really an issue I'll give you an example last year one of the departments in town had a shortfall and they needed a new vehicle so 
you know, which wasn't funded through town meeting or through their regular budget. So they came to the treasurer and then she caucused everybody together and they took care of that, you know, p vehicle for, you know, that department. Uh, how often do the trust fund commissioners actually meet? In talking with the treasurer, uh, it's almost as an ad as needed basis. It's probably all the it averages out to probably about quarterly, so maybe four times a year, unless um, you know some incredible situation came up that you know that something uh, happened that somebody needed funding for you know a different uh, like I mentioned a vehicle or a building assist or you know fix or something that wasn't funded out of the normal you know town coffers. And what should the voters know about you? I think the voters should know that, you know, I've been in town a long time. Uh, it's a real privilege to live in Medfield. And, uh, you know, the word trust in Trust Fund Commission, I think, says it all, that uh, you gain a level of trust and experience. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think that's one of the uh, statements that's important about this role as a Trust Fund Commissioner. Um, what other hobbies or talents do you have besides town government? Uh, I enjoy, uh, you know, a good round of golf. Uh, as I alluded to, I've been in, in, involved in uh, St. Edward the Confessor Parish for multiple decades. And, uh, you know, having four grandchildren now, I'm getting involved in their activities. And, you know, I still work full time for a large corporation. So that, that takes up a, you know, a lot of time working full time. Um, would you please take a few moments to speak to the audience? Thank you very much for this opportunity today to speak with you. I think town government is extremely important. I am extremely humbled by this, for the support of the 64 fellow townspeople and voters that signed my nomination papers, that took the time to talk with me. And it was a very humbling experience. And I, I deeply appreciate that. Everyone that can should volunteer somewhere in the town of Medfield. We live in a wonderful town. There's a lot of opportunities, you know, to get your name out there, to put your hand up and volunteer. All of us will continue to make this town better. There are a lot of important issues coming up in the town. Certainly the state hospital, and we're very fortunate to have a very well-run town right here in good old Medfield, Massachusetts. Thank you again, and please vote. I wish to thank the candidate for participating in this interview. Please remember that democracy is not a spectator sport. Please vote at the Center on Ice House Road on Monday, March 26th from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Trust Fund Commission works hand in hand with the Treasurer, and it really is only one fund. It's called the Municipal Building Trust Fund. And that's a that's an important distinction because there's many other trusts in the town of Medfield. The library has some, there's a trust that uh, for the Vine Lake Cemetery, but the Trust Fund Commission itself 